morning to you all. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to Garden City University College, GCUC, Premier Private University College that is dedicated to scholarly excellence. Today is very historic in the lives of some of you. You started the admission process, the orientation, and eventually you will be attending lectures without setting foot on the university campus. I'm here referring to our students on the distance education program at Tamale, Takrade, and Wa. I'm happy you decided to choose GCUC as the university to attend. You've made the right decision. GCUC will make sure that you achieve all the objectives you have for coming here. Congratulations. For the next few days, you will be taken through the process of orientation to help you adapt to your new environment and also learn about the tradition and the values of the university college. Comprehend as much as possible and ask as many questions as you can. I wish you all the best. May God bless you. May God bless GCUC. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to this day's orientation for the 2020-21 academic year. Students, I welcome you as the register of the University, Guardian City University College. On behalf of management, administrations and staff, you are most welcome. I don't think it is by chance that you have had the opportunity to be with us. Guardian City is a reputable private university located at Kenya Asi in the Kwabri municipality of the Ashanti region. The whole financier as a private university is uh, Mr. Abed Aqua, who founded this institution in 2001, first a certificate awarding institution, until 2005 that it became a university affiliated to the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. The university college has three faculties and schools. Faculty of Applied Sciences, Faculty of Health Sciences, and Business School. My duty to you this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, is to introduce you to the governance structure of the university. The university is governed by committees as we have in other universities. The highest decision-making body is the council of the university with its subcommittees. And then we have the academic board with its subcommittees. One of them that will interest you students is the resident committee which takes care of your upkeep on the campus. The leadership, we have the president, which other universities call it the vice chancellor. Then we have the president, we have the vice president, we have the registrar, we have finance officer, the internal auditor, then, at the, fact, then the assistant registrars are there, assistant registrar academic, assistant registrar HR. Then we have which the one that interests you most is the uh, academic structure where we have the deans and heads of department. Now, as students, when you come, you'll be given a student handbook uh, which serves as the Bible of every student. It tells you what you are supposed to do and what you are not supposed to do. It gives you, it directs you in your academic life your social life and everything that you need to know on campus. So it is my duty to inform you that when you come, wherever you are, try and have access to a student handbook. That tells you how to register your courses, the credit hours that you require, the type of classes you have, your deferral issues and anything that will make your academic life comfortable. I also, at this juncture, talk about the security of life on the campus and elsewhere. We all know how crime rate has increased in the country and everywhere we have uh, human beings habitating. So once I would advise you, those who will be at our campus, those who will be at the hostel, you try to walk in pairs, you don't walk very late in the night and try to use rules that are well lit and if you do that, you'll be saving yourself and saving everybody. The university will provide security for you. But my advice to you is that you are your own security. Take care of yourself. We will make sure that life on campus is safe and sound and comfort for you so that academic work will be easy. My last 
point to you is that there are grievance procedures. So anytime you find yourself in a difficulty, the first point of call is your head of department. If he's unable to resolve it, you talk to the, your dean. If you still you are not satisfied, the assistant registers are there, the academic registrar is there, the registrar is there. And I think this is the procedure that you have to do. And whatever we have to do to make you comfortable on this campus, I promise on behalf of management that will make you comfortable, safe and secure. So that at the end of it all, you have sound mind to go through your education and have the grades and classes that you so desire. We once again thank you for being with us. It is not by chance, it is by providence or whatever. Come here, we expect you and will make your life comfortable, sound and safe. Thank you and thank you everybody. Welcome to the Finance Office, Garden City University College. I am Raymond Kansamba, the Finance Officer. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you on your admission to GCUC and, and also to remind you of your financial responsibility as a student of this university college as you spend your time here. We'll do this thing in five areas. One, concerning your school fees. Two, the policy of the university college on payment of fees. Three, the mode of payment of your fees. Four, your semester course registration. And then also, I will take you through some opportunities in terms of student loans and sponsorship opportunities available as a student of Garden City University College. With regards to your school fees, please, fees are charged per academic year and paid by two equal installments of semester one and semester two. So the bill attached to your admission letter is the fees for semester one, and the same amount will be paid in semester two. In regards to the policy on the payment of school fees, please take a look at the bill. You will notice that we have a fee payment policy with various options. So you go through them, whichever option is suitable for you, you comply with it to avoid any inconveniences when it comes to examinations. With the mode of payment of fees, uh, thanks to COVID-19, uh, payment of fees in Garden City University College uh, is now very easy and stress-free. All you have to do as a student is to log into your student portal. You will see current fees and below that you see make payment. You just hit on it and follow the prompt. Uh, it will link you to your mobile wallet, whether it's MTM mobile wallet, Vodafone or Airtel Tigo or even your debit card. You provide the various credentials and then you proceed and that will be all for payment of fees. Please, you don't need to go to the bank or even to the finance office or accounts office of the university college to pay your fees for the semester. The fourth item I would like you to take note is the semester registration. In fact, you can also do your semester registration right there in your portal. But you need to complete the process by printing out a hard copy and send it to your department to complete the registration process. Okay. On the fifth item, uh, a colleague of mine, the student loan manager, will come in to take you through. Thank you. My name is Elijah Ayimbila Azendongo, manager, student loan trust fund, Ashanti region. I'm here to give a brief on the operation of student loan trust fund. Student Loan Trust Fund is an agency under, under the Ministry of Education that has been mandated by government to give out financial assistance in the form of loans to tertiary level students. We have three core objectives. First, we disperse the fund during the study period. Second, we recover the funds. Lastly, we sustain the trust fund for future generations to benefit. Now, what are the application criteria? First, you must be a Ghanaian before you can assess, assess the Student Loan Trust Fund scheme. Second, you should gain admission into an accredited tertiary institution. And lastly, the program you are offering should be NAP accredited. That's National Accreditation Board accredited. Now, what are the application requirement, requirement? First, you will need to get a Senate number before you can assess the Student Loan Trust Fund. Secondly, you will need to get an e-switch account in which the monies are paid directly into. Thirdly, you will need to get an email address, an active email address. Fourthly, you will need to get a guarantor who should have at least six, three years Senate contributions. 
that's the same as 36 months and should not be more than 53 years of age because 55 years of age the person can go on voluntary retirement and 60 compulsory retirement how much can we then give out to a student when you apply for a student loan the minimum we can give out to a student is 1,500 Ghana cities and the maximum is 3,000 Ghana cities for each academic year. If you are doing a four-year program and you apply for a loan and we give you the maximum 3,000 Ghana cities, so you multiply the three by the four years, that will be 12,000 Ghana cities. Please, let's take note, this is just a support system, but we are not aimed to pay your school fee in full. When the loans are given out to the students, you are not expected to pay back the loan immediately. You are given eight to 10 years to pay back the money in, in the instances of a degree program. If you are doing a diploma program, then you are given six years to pay back the money. When the COVID came up, that's last year, we had to, and students were compelled to study online. Most of the students didn't have smartphones, neither didn't have laptops to be able to go on with their academic work. So Student Loan Trust Fund, being so student-centered, we had to now introduce the laptop scheme, whereby students are given laptops to be able to do their online studies. If you're on the loan, and you don't have a laptop, once you get to our office, we'll give you a form to fill and we'll give you the laptop for your studies. If you're not on the loan and you're not coming up onto the loan scheme and you still prefer to get a laptop, then you apply and we'll give you the laptop. But please, let's remember, the laptop is a sub-component of the loan. So you cannot get a laptop without passing through the loan scheme. The loan is insured and it works in two instances. One, if a student happens to pass on who is on the loan, and once we have the medical report to confirm the person is deceased, then the loan is written off as a bad debt. Two, if a person takes the loan and unfortunately he gets an accident, then he or she cannot go back to school, neither can he or she work in the future. Once we have the medical report confirming that the person is permanently incapacitated, then the loan is also written off as, as, as a bad debt. You can reach us on 020-5750-377. You can also reach us on 050 you can equally WhatsApp and we'll be there to address your needs. Thank you. I'm David Quartin, Assistant Registrar, Academic Unit Affairs, Garden City University College. I want to welcome all fresh students to Garden City University College, a place for innovation and creativity. I just want to take you through the student handbook. Just scan through so that you will know what's expected of you as a student. We will give you the handbook, some have already been given out, and uh, I want you to take your time and go through the student handbook properly. I am just going to take you through so that we will deal with the salient aspects of the student handbook. We have three faculties. We have the Faculty of Applied Sciences, Faculty of Health Sciences, and we have Garden City Business School. And under these faculties, we have about 13 departments. Our strength is mainly with the health sciences. Though we offer IT, we offer business-related programs. But our niche is mainly in the health sciences. We have several physical facilities here. We have an ultra-modern hostel facility of about 480 bed capacity for students, so we have provision for regular students and weekend students. If you want to just come and spend the weekend and pay for it, there is a provision for you. Library facility for students, we have electronic library, we have books also available for students for their research uh, aspect of the academic works. We have a, a fleet of, of, of cars to facilitate students transportation to and, and from campus to their various practical uh, units. You just have to write through the Dean of Students to the Registrar to request for a bus for any uh, social or academic assignment uh, you want to undertake. We have the Office of the Dean of Students. This office is a link between students and management. So all issues are resolved at this level. Under the Office of the Dean of Students, we have counseling unit, we have the SRC, and they are the conduit to management. So if there's any grievances from the students, uh, it is resolved through the Dean of Students, uh, then everything is uh, done. We have the SRC, 
that operates under the Dean of Students. They work hand in hand to resolve all uh, student challenges and difficulties. Now, we want to move on to the policy on registration. Registration is very important to the university college. In fact, if you don't register at the beginning of a semester, you are not part of the school. You have to do your departmental registration. But before you do that, you should have paid your fees. Then you send the receipt to the finance office. Then you proceed to the department for the departmental registration. If you pay the fee and you don't register at the departmental level, you have still not registered. Payment of fee is not tantamount to registration. It's a different procedure altogether. So please, whenever you pay your fees, proceed to the department and register. You register at the beginning of the semester for the various courses you undertake at the semester. Please, this is very important to us. If you don't register at the beginning of the semester, you cannot take the examination at the end of the semester. In fact, you are not considered as a student at all. Now, there are certain things you have to know when you come to the university. The first thing is that you must have access to the student's ID card. That is a means of identifying you as a student. Please get your student's ID card from our IT unit. The IT unit operates on weekends, so please come and get your ID card. We move on to policy on change of name. Uh, our policy, student can only change their name if it's on marital grounds. Changing the name with the swearing of an oath is not enough. You should gazette it. So generally, we don't permit students changing their names. Students are also expected to register with the National Health Insurance so that when they fall sick, uh, we can take them to the hospital without incurring much cost. We have certain sanctions that goes with misconduct by students. You can be reprimanded, you can be dismissed, you can be suspended for a number of years if you breach the rules in this student handbook. We don't fight here, we don't get drunk, we don't abuse students, we don't smoke, we don't engage in trading on campus, noise making is highly prohibited, having arms or explosives are prohibited, writing anonymous letters are also prohibited, granting interviews to the media, to the public, or to embassies are highly prohibited here. If you have any issue, you must write to the Dean of Students through the head of department for it to be resolved. So please, all these things are prohibited in Gaddis Dean University. We have 12 weeks of teaching in a semester, one week for revision, then three weeks for end of semester examination. In Garden City, we can decide to write exams both on weekends and on a weekday. But because of our weekend students, we try as much as possible to write most of our papers on weekends. Per the student handbook, you can defer your program after one year. And you can defer it for a minimum of one year and a maximum of two years. You just have to write through your head of department to the registrar and give reason for your deferment. We have two levels of assessment. We have assessment at the continuous assessment level and end of semester assessment level. The continuous assessment takes 30%, then the end of semester assessment takes 70%. The grading system here is that if you get 70, between 70 and 100, you get A. Between 60 and 69.99, you get B. Between 50 and 59.99, you get C. Between 40 and 49, you get D. And anything below 40 is F. Now, at the end of each semester, you are supposed to have a CWA of not less than 45%. If you get anything less than 45, you may either be repeated or be withdrawn. If you fail more than two papers, after the supplementary exams, you will be repeated. 
And if you get any trails, more than three, then you may not even be given the opportunity to even reset or take part in the supplementary exams. Supplementary exams, you can only take not more than three papers during the supplementary exam. So if you fail more than three papers, you will not even be given the opportunity to reset the paper. So I will advise and employ all students to do their best. And I know if you study hard, you will leave this place with flying colors successfully as an alumni of Garden City. Thank you for listening to me. I take this opportunity to warmly welcome you all to the Faculty of Applied Sciences. We are very pleased to have you as members of the faculty. We have three programs in the faculty. These are environmental studies, computer science, and IT. We have trained and graduated so many environmentalists, IT personnel, and computer scientists who are studying further in abroad and locally, who are gainfully employed worldwide. We have a lot of students who have come internationally and have excelled here, and they are doing very well wherever they find themselves. You are at the right place. Most of you may be confused whether you have made the right choice. I assure you that you have really made a very good choice. We have a faculty that is made up of uh, the elderly and very young people who are well versed in what they are teaching. They have a lot of industrial experience and academic experience. My advice to you is that computer science, environmental science, and IT are not very easy subjects. When you come in, you are supposed to learn very hard, attend lectures every week before you even qualify to write examinations. We also have a lot of lab works. Please attend all lectures and take part in the lab. If in the course of the program, you have a problem, your lecturers are ever willing to attend to you. Where you cannot go to a lecturer, the head of department is available. And when it goes beyond the head of department, the dean will attend to your issues. Please, as a student, do not keep any problem that you have to yourself. It may affect you, but the university community is there to help you academically, spiritually, and morally. We entreat you to be very good boys and girls. Even uh, also, we, I know we have men and women with us. Any problem you have, please do not keep it to yourself. Come to us, we will help you. When you have an academic issue, get in touch with us for assistance. Attend classes regularly. Attend your lab classes also. Do not think that uh, uh, I will wait till the last minute before I uh, come to school or I'm here just to pass exams. If you do that, it is very difficult for you to pass. Anybody who doesn't come to classes on a regular basis will find environmental science, computer science, and IT very, very difficult. But if you come to class regularly, take part in classes, you will do very well. We are very happy that you are joining us. We warmly welcome you. We will also have an internal uh, orientation where heads of departments and other staff will engage you one-on-one -on -one so that we will orient you and then counsel you. Once again, you are warmly welcome to the Faculty of Applied Sciences and we assure you of all the support that you require from us. Thank you, and once again, welcome. Hi, I'm Andrew Kwa George, the SRC president. Today being a special day for all of us, which is our matriculation day. Welcome all students to campus. We are going to have a feel of campus. The SRC is the sole organization of students and is the mouthpiece of all students. The SRC is made up of the SRC president, the secretary, the vice president, the PUSAC president, the WUCOM, and other departmental executives. 
SRC has its own rules and regulations as the school also has. So we urge all students to get their handbook, go through them and know the rules and regulations of the SRC and that of the school. We should all try to follow the channel of communication as a whole student body. That is reporting issues according to how it should be from the roots before it reaches the highest authority. We welcome all of you to GCUC and we know you are going to like the feel of campus. Welcome to GCUC. Hello, freshmen and women. I wish to warmly welcome you to Garden City University College and to Garden City University College Business School. At the university level orientation, you have been familiarized with the university college as an institution. You have been familiarized with the organizational structure, with channels of communication. The uh, SIC has been made known to you, as well as the Dean of Students Office, and so on. And you have been reminded of what you are here for. At the level of the Garden City University College Business School orientation, we wish to indicate to you the main functions of the business school and the structures. We wish to indicate that the role of the business school is to contribute towards the achievement of the strategic objectives of the whole university college and also to help you to become part of the next generation of innovators. The motto of Garden City University College is, quote, developing the next generation of innovators, unquote. And the business school strives to help students to achieve this, uh, to realize this motto. The business school comprises three academic departments. The Department of Accounting, Banking and Finance, the Department of Economics and Statistics, and the Department of Managerial Sciences. Through these departments, the faculty or school offers eight degree programs. We offer a program in Bachelor of Business Administration in Accounting, Bachelor of Business Administration in Banking and Finance, and we offer Bachelor of Business Administration in Human Resource Management, Bachelor of Business Administration in Management and Bachelor of Business Administration in Marketing. We also offer a Bachelor of Science degree in Accounting with Computing and a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics with Statistics. The faculty is able to achieve its objectives because we are endowed with the requisite resources. First of all, we have very competent and experienced, well-qualified academic staff who teach the various courses. We are also adequately resourced in terms of the complement resources such as classrooms that have been equipped with LED projectors and we are also able to make use of the computer labs of the institution and of late we have a facility that makes it possible for us to organize online teaching and learning and we urge you all to make use of these facilities. The University College in fulfilling our function take note of the requirements of professional bodies, especially CA Ghana. And so, in our accounting programs, we introduce add-on courses, which will help students to have exemptions when, after graduation, they decide to take uh, courses to obtain professional qualification in accounting. The same thing applies to human resources and banking and so on. So, we in the School of Business are ready to make sure that when our students graduate, they are not going to add to the unemployed graduates in, in, in this country. We train you in such a way that uh, you'll be able to even set up 
your own businesses and you will also be able to have the knowledge and skills that employers need so that we can ensure that our graduates will either have employment or they will be self-employed as entrepreneurs. And that is not all. We also want our students and we do train them so that they can contribute to the socioeconomic development of Ghana and the rest of the world. As you know, these days, the job market is global. You are not only going to look for jobs within Ghana, we urge you to also look for jobs outside Ghana. And that is why we give that kind of training. And we also urge students to not only acquire knowledge and skills for employment and self-employment, but also to develop the right attitudes so that at the job, uh, at the, uh, job place, they will be able to uh, contribute more than uh, their counterparts that are coming from other institutions. I think there are rules that you have to follow whilst you're in this institution. And the student handbook will help you to know what these rules are. And apart from that, we know that you need to cooperate with your teachers in the classrooms, take your courses seriously, do not give excuses for not attending class after the class is over. If you have a problem, let your lecturer know. Do not adhere to information that come from unofficial sources. If you have something like that, either you ignore them or you check with the administration so that you can get the right information. If you do all these things, i.e. cooperate with your lecturers and the administration, I believe that you achieve the objectives that motivated you to seek university education and therefore become a citizen who will contribute to the development of Ghana. Once again, I warmly welcome you to Garden City University College and specifically to Garden City University College Business School. Thank you very much. I am Professor Yao Osei, Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences. I speak on behalf of the faculty, inclusive of staff and continuing students, to welcome all fresh students who have been admitted to the various programs. Our faculty runs the following departments, nursing, midwifery, medical laboratory technology, physician assistantship studies, and dental therapy. Once you have been admitted, we accept that you are qualified like anybody else to study at the university. So please, my first advice, once you have been admitted, don't keep on comparing yourself to students of other universities. A university is a university everywhere, and you have attained certain qualification, that is why you have been admitted. So it doesn't matter. Some people got admission to Cape Coast, others to Legon, others to Oxford, others to Harvard, but you got admission to Garden City University College. The other difference is that whereas the others are publicly owned, Garden City University is a private university and therefore you have to pay tuition fees and other expenses all by yourself. Be what it may, you qualify like anybody else who has entered a university and therefore you qualify as a mature adult. Secondly, after passing through this, you're going to be trained as professional and as professionals, you'll be supervised by responsible supervisory bodies. For example, nursing and midwifery by the Nursing and Midwifery Council dental therapy and physician assistance studies by the medical and dental council and med medical laboratory technology by the health and allied professionals council once you are admitted you are working here on your two legs one for your university 
and the other for your professional training. This means that you have to learn to work well. And to work well in any university means that you use your time profitably. The 24 hours you are given by God might not be enough for you, but it should be enough for you because it has, it has been the rule of nature all along. You are going to be taught and lectured and given skills according to principles and guidance given us by the National Accreditation Board. We are going to learn competencies and skills given to us by the various supervisory body. I assure you, at the, cl the classroom and in the clinical facilities and other hospitals, going to be given every opportunity to acquire these competencies and skills. Please learn to use your time profitably. Eight hours of sleep you need, and you must have it by all means. Eight hours you will have for lectures, and if all things go well, you might take other eight hours for leisure. But you cannot have all those eight hours for leisure unless you take about two hours from that to add to those hours that you will learn. In other words, we don't want you to learn about 15 hours a day and sleep only some five or six hours for the rest of the night. That will not be enough. By the time you will reach the second year or third year, you yourself might kick yourself out of the university or you might be so ill that you will not be able to continue. So once again, let me say this. You are running an educational program as well as a professional program. So being supervised by responsible bodies in this country, we at Garden City University College, particularly the Faculty of Health Sciences, have been entrusted with giving you all the help that you need for this purpose. Please. Use your time profitably. Let us cooperate with each other. If you have any difficulties, go to any lecturer and ask for advice. We ourselves are also ready to learn from you, knowing very well that we passed our examinations and other things very many years ago. But the university is a, is a ground where we exchange ideas and learn from each other. But for goodness sake, let us respect each other and talk sensibly to each other without any violence, without any insulting language and respecting the laws of the country in all aspects. Thank you very much and welcome to this university. Hi, I'm Andrew Dakwa George, the SRC president. Today has been a special day for all of us, which is our matriculation day. Welcome all students to campus. We are going to have a feel of campus. The SRC is the sole organization of students and is the mouthpiece of all students. The SRC is made up of the SRC president, the secretary, the vice president, the staff president, and other departmental executives. The SRC has its own rules and regulations as the school also has. So we urge all students to get their handbook, go through them and know the rules and regulation of the SRC and that of the school. We should all try to follow the channel of communication as a whole student body. That is reporting issues according to how it should be from the roots before it reached the highest authority. We welcome all of you to GCUC and we know you are going to like the feel of campus. Welcome to GCUC.